everybody, HMV here. Playing more City Skylines, and we are driving down the road here. We just left the Tame Kai, and we are... Look at that, they're using the left lane. That always makes me happy. Maybe this person will go through one of those tunnels I made. Who knows? Oh, yeah, we are going through a tunnel. Oh, yeah, the tunnels aren't rendered. <laughs> one of the joys of using a mod that, that does things that the original game never expected. Oh, another tunnel. Oh, boy, this one's crazy. Whoa, don't crash into that guy. Anyway. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But it got me out, so hey. Uh, we are looking at our, our brand new city here. Our, our new, less dirty city with an awesome... Uh, with an awesome dam here that's producing far more power than it needs. Um, it'll actually produce a lot more than this, but we've turned down the uh, the, the amount of money we're spending on it because we simply do not need this much power. Now, the people want to work. The people want to work a lot, and I have decided to leave the industry as is. Um, this industry can level up if we do better. Um, you'll notice that there are a lot of highly educated people working here, so we don't need any more of this icky, dirty industry here. Uh, but we are going to make them all happy. Um, let's see. What is this? The Statue of Industry. I guess we're probably never going to get that, which, but it would be perfect here. I think Plaza of the Dead. I think Mare's Mega Midden could use a Plaza of the Dead. And we'll put it right here so we only demolish that Oh, I guess we'll demolish all these buildings anyway, so we might as well put it on the corner here. Okay, industry, I guess we'll say they liked it. Uh, the transport tower's coming in eventually, but not right now. The fountain of life and death, friendly neighborhood park, those don't really sound like industry things. Uh, the courthouse, definitely not industry. Um, the oppression office, that would work in industry, I guess. Um, yeah, these things... Not really sticking out as things I want to put in an industrial area. So, let's give them a plaza with picnic tables, just so they're just so they have something to do here. And I think we're gonna put it right here. And then let's check out their services here. Trash is good. Health is terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and give them some health care. Even though they shouldn't actually, like, need it, <laughs> per se. But, uh, hey, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead and put it right on this corner here. And then, uh, we should probably also speed up time, so we're making lots of money here. Fire coverage is good. Police coverage is terrible. So let's give them a police station on the other corner here. Oh, there's a... There we go, we can put it right there. They should definitely not need uh, that. I think today we are going to take care of transportation, though. Um, I think first, though, we're going to give them more regular old industry. We're going to go here. We are going to go all the way out here. That's going to be offices, just because they've been offices. But then this is going to be industry out as far as this thing will let me go. We are going to boom, boom, and actually we're going to boom here. And you know what? Why not? Let's boom here with industry. The people want it, the people get it. That's the way it works. And we are going to... I think we're going to actually run a road. We're going to make it curve. We're going to run a road right here and right here so the people can get out there. And I hate to put a... I hate to put a thing here. Now here, let's try this. Let's try this trick here. Let's try this trick. We are going to upgrade just this road here to a squeezy, and I guess this one as well. And that that eliminates the um, that eliminates the uh, buildings that were just there. <laughs> uh, let's go into marquee mode here. Let's get these buildings back and these ones too. And these can be offices here and here. And here, why not? Um, that eliminates the lights. And I want to... My, my goal is to eliminate the lights whenever possible. Uh, there's no lights here. There's no lights anywhere on this road. It's It was just right here that was annoying me. I would leave this big, but I, I just can't. Because that's the way it works. 
Um, I wonder, I'll tell you what, let's try something. I hate to do it, because I just, I just did this. But what if we were to put a little dinky road as short as possible, and then go back to this bigger road. Space is already occupied and distance is too short. Yeah, that that park is ruining it. What if I don't go off like that? Well, let's turn off this. What if we go kind of more like this? Sorry, sir. And I should really be putting this one first. There we go. It's kind of crazy looking, but it gets the most the most uh, little traffic areas. Um, I was watching a, I was watching a, a YouTuber who was doing that crazy. Um, he was suggested on the forums. Uh, sadly, I don't remember his name. <laughs> and I don't know why that's allowing that to be uh, zoned, but hey, if somebody puts their building there, I will be happy. Okay, that makes me happy. That area, um, we've got a little bit more um, industrial than we want. These people want more workers. There aren't enough workers, just period. They want highly educated... And they're getting lots of regularly educated people. Well, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. You're level 2, though, so we're going to leave you at level 2. Okay. Transportation. This is the way transportation is going to work. We are going to put, I think right here, we're going to put a bus terminal. We're going to actually make this area a little bit nicer. We are going to go to buses. We're going to put a terminal right across the street from the university. That makes them unhappy, but you know what? You guys can suck it. <laughs> um, and now we want to run bus stops. Now, here's the way bus stops are going to work. Uh, we are going to have multiple districts. We are going to, we're going to basically each district is going to have its own little bus line. And uh, we're going to, let's start the bus line on the main road right here. Actually, we want it to be close to these corners here. Uh, and we want to go this way. Turn in to here. Then go down here. Come on, add a stop. There we go. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to add a stop here. Then we're going to add a stop here. Uh, I want to include these people. So let's put a stop here, and then another one here, and then another one right here. We can just turn this corner here. Uh, we'll do the same thing down here. We'll put a stop here and here. Uh, these people are going to go bus stopless. I think they can walk. And then we're going to come up and complete the line right here. And this is going to be this place's... Okay, listen to everybody going. Now, we're also going to then do buses out here. Um, and I think the bus out here is actually going to go around this circle. Um, we're going to start at Mayor's Mega Midden. We're going to go around the circle. And we're going to go across the street. Now, the, then we're going to go here. We're going to go down to the end of this road and back. Gonna go down to the end of this road and back. Then we're gonna go out here. I think we're only gonna go about halfway. Then we're gonna go right out to uh, right in front of this park. Then right here. Then out here, so the people out here can get something. Then we're gonna kind of zigzag into here. Sadly, go right to the end. Right to here. <laughs> and then we're going to finish the line there. And that line is going to take care of that industrial area. Now out here, we're going to have a bus line. That, I think this bus line is just going to do... Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to do with this bus line. Let's go here. And then here. And then here, and then here, 
here, here, and then back. And we're actually going to add a line. We're going to we're going to drag line to add stop. There we go. Added a stop here. We're going to add a stop. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Come on. Maybe if I zoomed in. Actually, no. We'll just add a stop here. There we go. And then out here for the mall. We're going to have a stop right in front of the mall. We have another one here. We're going to go down this road. And back. We're going to go down this road and back. Then we're going to go out here, but right to there. We're going to go out here. This is a dead-end road, so I think that's fine. We're going to come down one of these roads. Then we're going to go down here. Then this is not a road, so if he comes down here at all, he's going to have to go off on the freeway and back. So we're not going to go down that road at all, sadly. But, oh, wow, these people like this. Um, so we're going to come across here. We're going to go down here. Where's the last road? It's right here. So we're going to go here, here, and then back over here. There's our three main bus lines, or four main bus lines. Oh, wait, we need a bus line out here. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna this incorporate this circle here. So we're gonna start it at the circle. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna come down here. This is what the people wanted. They wanted their bus lines. Then we're gonna come around through this area. The R Town route. And you're you're hopefully thinking to yourself, well, why are you why are you like bussing up a residential area, and then not having any way for those residents to get anywhere else? Well, this is this is part one. <laughs> Set a stop here. Set a stop here. Uh, another stop here, and then we'll go across the roundabout and complete this line. And these people all have their buses all set. Now. We're going to do a metro. That is where the, the money is here. Um, we are going to have a metro near the middle of our town that you can walk to, ideally from uh, the bus stop. And there's a bus stop right here. So I think the metro has to go right here. Sorry whoever's uh, <laughs> building is right there. But there's the metro station in our town. Now we need a metro station in here, and I think this corner is a perfect spot for one. Uh, yep, right there. We're going to put a metro. You guys even get your own metro, and that's going to be right in the middle of the Tussin district here. And I think this is a perfect spot for it. Um, it's funny we put the buses here, but, but there's no actual reason to go here. But I think we're going to put a metro here as well, and sadly we can't tuck it in there or there. So... We'll have to expand this road a little bit here. And put it... Right here next to the bus terminal. I think that's a good spot for it. Now you guys here in the Rich Richie houses here are going to get a metro. And I think we're going to have to knock a house down to do it. Unless we put it a little bit farther back. Which I don't want. I want it like right here. And sorry about your house, sir. And then right here, uh, maybe in front of the mall. I think that's a good spot for a metro. And it's got to be on this side where the people are taking the bus. And we can put it, like, right here. Right in front of that bus stop. Okay, now we're going to run tubes. And currently, the tubes are just going to... Uh, let's put them uh, curvy here. We're just going to connect everything up. Oh, there's <laughs> there's tunnels here, uh, so we have to go page down, get under this, and then ideally it will still connect here. No, it won't. Space already occupied. 
I page down. Okay, fine. Page down or page down again. There we go. Now page up. It's a little too steep. Page up, and that should get us to here. There we go. So there's that line. Uh, the next one is out here. And we're just going to loop around to that guy. The next one is going to go to here, the Tussin district. Actually, we got to go out there as well. I think that'll be the, that'll be the end of the line is, is that side there. So then we're going to go here. Uh, where's the Tussin district? It's over here. So I think we can actually just run this line like this and right to slope is too steep. Are you serious? Slope is too steep. Your slope is too steep. Slope is too steep. Fine. Tell me what I have to do to make the slope not be too steep. I hate to come off straight like this. But yeah, the, basically this just can't go down here. There's really no reason for it to anyway. So let's run this tube now. Up to there. There we go. And then we're going to go from the Tussin district around to here. And then from here, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Maybe we'll have to go up. We'll go up here and around to our town. Slope too steep. Okay, fine. We'll go all the way around. <laughs> Just do this and connect it right there. There we go. Now for the lines. And we're just going to have one line going from every stop to every stop and then back. So we're going to go here to here to here to here to here to here and then back. And then complete the line there. That is going to be the only subway line currently. And that's the way it's going to work. Um, and then ideally what people will do is they will take the subway to certain places. And then they will get off the subway and take the bus to certain places. We've already got 369 people per week using the bus lines. Uh, and four per week using the subway. Um, ideally, that number will get bigger. I'm going to skip trains because we don't have outside train connections, so there's really no reason to, to fiddle with trains um, right now. And uh, we need a population of 13,000 before we can start doing ships, and ships are definitely going to be something. We might actually have um, some harbors down here when the time comes. Or actually, wait. Oh, no, those are train terminals. Uh, those will be harbors. Okay. Whew. That was a lot of work, and we got dead people. We got lots of dead people. What is going on with the dead people? Yeah, we got a cream cream of burninarium right here. I guess it's a little bit hard to get over here to, to take care of the dead people. Uh, but what is this burnarium doing here? Hearse is in use seven. They're not storing any deceased. Now they're just storing. <laughs> now they're now they're storing nine of it. They're burning them away. Where? Why are the hearses not coming to get these guys? That's what I want to know. A dead person is waiting for transport. Oh well. Tell you what. I'm not going to worry about it. Um. Okay, I'm super happy. I am super happy with the way buses and stuff are working. 182 per week, so yeah, we're, we're definitely getting a lot of use out of the uh, the lines here. And also, if you go into here, you can see here we're spending 
thousand dollars on uh, or we're spending seven seven hundred dollars on buses and eighteen hundred dollars on metro uh, every week, and we are getting uh, three hundred dollars from buses and eighteen hundred from metro. So the metro is paying for itself, and the buses are almost paying for themselves. Actually, the buses are about halfway paying for themselves. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, what do we got here? Um, we have a, a demand for residential, and I think it's time to finally expand the area around uh, the university here. Uh, and I don't want to screw up power, because power out here is a bit dodgy. So I think we're going to do this. And then that, so that's connected via power. And then we're going to delete those. We're going to spread power across here. Between those two, so we can delete these. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't like how how dodgy our power running is right now. I like to have I like to have multiple options for how power gets spread between places. That way, if I demolish something, uh, <laughs> it doesn't get uh, cut power to, to most of my town. Okay, this area should never be all that all that busy, and I think we're actually going to run a road. Uh, we want to turn snap back on. We're going to run a road right to... Not too far. I think we're going to curve it. We're going to just try to follow the freeway as close as we can here. Just come around like this. And then also run this out. That's nice. And then we're going to come around like this and connect this up here. And then we're going to go like this. And like that. And this is all going to be... Um, you want to keep some low density residential. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put high density right here. And then we're going to put low density in, in the rest of this area here. So these people all have... Uh, people with kids is what you want here in the low density. Low density families come in. And we definitely don't want any there because that's terrible. Um, we could put a little mom and pop shop right here. Maybe somebody will want to will wanna put their... <laughs> want to put their business right there. Oh, they need water. They need uh, the water... Okay, and we need more commercial, which is crazy. I actually zoned this all offices because you guys didn't want any commercial. Um, where do I want to put some commercial? I think on the other side here, next to the Burnarium. Let's let's put some uh, let's put some low density commercial out here. I never expect this to be a very busy area. My cat really expects it to be a busy area, though. She's very mad that that I zoned that wrong. Uh, I saw water here, but I guess... Oh, these guys need water. Sorry. There you go. Um, yeah, let's zone these guys low density. Why not? <laughs> they moved in already, so we might as well... We might as well let some low density residential right next to the freeway there. Even though the whole purpose of this, I think, was just to get this park in. Uh, and then, um, they still want some commercials, so I think on the way to work, you want to stop in and get, like, a, like, a latte or something on your way to work, or, uh, you know, you forgot to shave, so you, you, you pull in to pick up some, uh, razor blade or something. People do that, right? I, I, I used to do that when I was, uh, when I was a younger man. Now I just don't bother shaving. <laughs> uh, and I think we're going to sadly take these guys out. 
who we just put in here and rezone them offices. Okay. And now there's a reason to put a bus line here. So we are going to oop oh, not a not a whole bus everything. Not a metro, a bus line. Okay. Uh that's the metro. We want buses. Can you page up from here? No, you can't. You can hit escape though. There you go. I guess the bus thing just does that. Okay. So we're going to put a we're going to put a bus here. And then one right in front of the bus terminal. And we're going to come out here. Uh, then we're going to come here. Then here. Then we're going to go right to here. And then right back. Back to here. Uh, back to here. And then back to here. Oh, people don't like their sewage. What's wrong with sewage? We are out of sewage treatment. We need to put a sewage treatment plant right here in TMS Town. And hook it up to this pipe that's already here. Perfect. Perfect. All the sewage complaints are gone. Um, I think the town's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh... Uh, let's see. There's a there's a power lines here that aren't connected to anything, and I think I'm going to just demolish them because they don't seem to be causing any problems. There we go. Everybody's good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. Uh, next time we are going to probably expand a little bit more out into here and uh, name some more stuff because I still got tons of names to name things. I, uh, I'm HMV, and I will, as always, talk at you later.